What's going on everyone? It's your boy Jason Inner and today we're going to be doing a review on the Forgehog versus Goliath set. So let me just um, let me just uh, get the figures off the Forgehog and put them up and everything and I'll be back. All right, so these are the two figures that came with it. Um, just a little Marine and obviously Forge. Now, I love this version of Forge. It's the Halo Wars 2 version, but because they added so much detail to him and you'll see why. So I move this. Now, my camera will just focus on him. Okay, um, if I try to zoom in like that, there we go. That worked a little. Anyways, uh, he has the legendary symbol on his, uh, on his, uh, chest area right there. He has the legendary icon, which is awesome. And it's multiple of them, so, yeah. And then he has little paint apps right here. He has a playing card and an ace right there, which is awesome. The line on it. And he has another paint app right there, which is just amazing. They act, they did, they really outdone themselves with this figure. Looks way better than the one in the hero's line. And people don't like the little eye holes right there but I think they look kind of fine in person now that I see them. Yeah, he comes with the, comes with the pouch right there, leg armor. It's not like the new articulated pouch armors and everything. Here he is, great looking figure. And then we'll move on to the Marine. The Marine is just a standard, standard Marine, you know. He does have paint app right there, though, which is awesome. He doesn't have it on the other side, though. And yeah, that's the only thing that's really about him. And he does have a pouch. Comes with the SMG, and Forge came with the shoddy. Mm. Uh, ow. I was kneeling down the whole time. But yeah, these are the two figures that came with this set. Great, great figures. Now, we're gonna be taking a look at the Goliath. This big boy right here. <sighs> He's, he was a weird build. He was, a, he was an odd, really odd build. But, he came out looking good. So, I mean, yeah, it's whatever. He can stand on, he can stand on his, uh, on his, what's it called, um, his back legs, so. Here it is, let me see if I can get it. Get him to stand up like that, real quick. So yeah, this is him standing up, standing up kinda weird, <laughs> but yeah. That's him standing up. Looks weird as hell. Prefer to just leave him uh, how he was because he looks more menacing like that. And I just broke something off. There we go. Okay. Oh, now I know not to fool around with that again. But yeah. Cool. I guess you can call him a minifigure, but he's not a minifigure. It's a figure, but not a minifigure. Which looks, he looks awesome. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna get to Forge Hog. This baby, this looks awesome. This Forge Hog was such a good build, but there are some issues with it <sighs> like the turret gauss hog right here it just always it's just really wonky it goes all over the place and it's hard 
to keep a figure uh, standing right there. Luckily though, I kept this Marine right there for a little while, so. And then the doors, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of other people say this, but the doors on this, they're just, I don't, they can't even, they can't stay up or anything. Like they just flop right back down. And people, people often remove this little part and just have it, you know, without the doors. Like, I'll show you guys without the doors. Let me see. Let's see if I can yank this off. Yeah, okay. There's one. There's two. All right, so this is it without the doors. And it looks, looks pretty much the same, but I honestly prefer them with the doors because it's, the doors like are kind of the main part of the set so yeah but it looks still look cute it still looks good you got a little radio back here a radio antenna type thing you got the um got the gas cans in the back for fuel and all that and then it came with it has the uh the shooting mechanism on this one. So just give that a little, do a little fire. And yeah, and it comes with two of them. So one, just in case you lose the other. Has some printed, printed pieces inside, the modules and all that. I like the steering wheel that came with this one. Looks really nice. And yeah, a whole bunch of armor and stuff. <sighs> really, really great build. Let me just put this, put this back on real quick. Yeah, really great build. I mean, let me put the doors back on too before I forget about doing that. There you go. Alright, there is one. I'll just uh do that later. But um anyways, yeah, that's the end of the video. We got a forge right here and his little marine. About to get stomped out by the Goliath. And yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh leave a sub. Because I plan to get on three to three hundred subs by the end of February. So help out with that. And yeah, thank you all for watching, sub, like, and I'll see you all in the next review, which will be on the Camino Cyclops. So, later.